guys are all doing good. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cookie dough. And not just any cookie dough, edible cookie dough. So it's going to be awesome. Before we continue, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So the first step is we're going to get a baking sheet. Don't worry, it's not for cookies. We're not baking them. But we do have to bake the flour for 12 to 15 minutes. And the reason for that is there's bacteria in the flour and if you eat it, you'll pretty much get sick. And we don't want that happening. So we're gonna get our one and a half cups of flour, spread it on this and then bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. So like I said, one and a half cups of flour. It's like a giant container of flour. <laughs> so big. Gonna scoop out our flour. And I always use a butter knife to flatten out the top. to Make sure you get just the right amount. Now we're just gonna spread around all the flour. I'm gonna use my knife. Just spread it around so it's even. Now that our flour is ready, we're gonna put it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. And make sure you be careful because the oven is hot. The timer just went off for the flour, so I'm gonna go check it. Okay, I think it's all done. You can't really tell the difference, but it's done. I'm gonna set it right here and cool down for a couple of minutes before we add it in here and start mixing everything. While I'm waiting for the flour to cool off, I'm gonna start adding some of the other ingredients to our bowl. First, we're gonna add the butter. So I have two sticks here, but we're gonna be using one and a quarter cup. So yeah, that would just be one stick of butter and then another one, but cut in a quarter. <laughs> and make sure that your butter is already melted a little bit room temperature. So I'm just gonna get this butter, I'm gonna cut a small piece off of it, and that will be counted as our one and a quarter cup of butter. It's like so messy, it's so gross. <laughs> butter is like my least favorite part of making cookies, because it's just so greasy. About right here. Now we have our butter in, I'm gonna go put these in the trash really fast. Now we're gonna add our brown sugar. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. And I always have to smell it first because, oh, vanilla smells so good, I love it, okay. And make sure you get every last bit of vanilla because you want all of it, it's really good. <laughs> and you could even add a little extra. I add a little extra sometimes, it's better that way. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Now we're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. So I have my half teaspoon right here. And make sure you don't over salt it. Because then it would be super salty. Who wants that? <laughs> now we're gonna mix it until it's combined. So I finished mixing this. It's pretty mixed up. I got my milk out because we're gonna be adding that soon. And then now I'm gonna add the flour and mix it into the batter. That's hard. Now we're gonna mix the flour in. As soon as that's all mixed, we're gonna add a quarter cup of milk. And now we're gonna mix. Now that that's mixed, we're gonna add our chocolate chips. This is the best part because it's almost done, and then we're gonna be able to eat it. So after we add these mini chocolate chips, which are the best, we're gonna refrigerate it for at least an hour, maybe more, maybe even overnight if you want, and then it'll be ready to eat. I have two bags here just in case. I'm just adding about half a bag for now and I might add more after that, you never know. It's always good to be prepared and have a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna finish stirring the chocolate chips in with a rubber spatula because it's a little bit easier. When you're done mixing, your dough should look a little bit like this. So now we're gonna push it down a little bit, put some plastic wrap and then refrigerate it. I think I'm gonna refrigerate mine for a couple of hours because the best way to eat it is when it's cold. Okay, let's get some plastic wrap. Just a little bit. Now we're gonna press it onto the cookie dough. Time to refrigerate it. So I just got back from soccer practice. As you can see, I'm in a different outfit. My hair is so messy and sweaty, but my cookie dough looks fantastic. The next step is to start making the cookie dough look presentable so people wanna eat it. Well, everyone wants to eat cookie dough anyways, but it still will look cute. So I'm just gonna grab some cookie dough. I'm gonna make a giant ball and put it in this ice cream cone thingy. It's very cute. Cookie dough feels so weird. <laughs> okay, I think this is big enough. Oh my gosh, perfect. I have to hurry and make the second ball before it starts melting.
Let's make this a triple scoop and it will be perfect. Hmm, is this big enough? Ooh, I think it's, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, a cookie dough tower. I just want to eat it. It looks so good. Me too. Wow, I just want to put eyes in the nose and make it a snowman. <gasps> I'm gonna do it. Except it already has chocolate chips, so it doesn't really work. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. It looks like ice cream or something. It's so cute. You can like kind of tell. Except for that one right there. That is so cute. Okay. I hope this doesn't fall. Anyways, I hope you guys like watching my video today. And make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Bye.